everyone. Pretty excited about what we're gonna to cover today. My name is Adam, and today I'm gonna to give you an entire actions walkthrough from the ground up. This will include how to apply those actions to other images, and how to import and export those actions. We're using ACDC Ultimate 2019. First up, you can download and submit your own actions. Uh, this happens on our website. I'm quickly gonna show you where it's at. But if you also can't find it, there's a link in the description. Okay, so why actions? Actions are a bunch of really cool custom presets that you can create yourself and play to your photography collections. Let's take an example. If you're a wedding photographer, uh, you may use this function to fix a lighting problem in one image and then correct multiple images. Either way, Actions get stored in a place called the Actions Browser, which is found in Manage Mode and Edit Mode, roughly in the same place. This action I have selected can be found in the Photo Effect category. I'm going to play it right now. Okay, so you now know where to find them and you know how to play one. How do we record an action? Well, recording an action is really simple, but it can only be done in edit mode. So let's open up an image in edit mode. To start recording, hit the record button. You can find this right next to the actions browser, right here. Actions record your editing process. You'll see items get added right here as we edit this image. Let's improve this image by drawing attention away from the background and towards the foreground. I'm going to add a curves adjustment, which you can find here. I'll also add a transfer photo effect uh, adjustment and reduce the opacity of this adjustment. Third thing I'm gonna add is a vibrance adjustment, uh, toning up the vibrance and dropping the saturation. Lastly, I'm gonna add a vignette, uh, adjusting the strength. Okay, so now we have the basic setup for our action. This one is just a nice, simple tonal adjustment with some filters that give us a warm glow one that wouldn't be too destructive on any image in our collection. You could say that it's the perfect starting action. Let's save it. To save an action, we'll find the square in the action control section. That's this guy right here. Clicking it brings up this little box. Let's fill this box out. Top field is the name of the action. Enter whatever you feel describes your action. Secondary field allows us to choose through a drop-down, or write in a new category. This time we're going to add a new category. Cool, we're done here. I'm just going to hit save. So this is just one action. I think I'm going to want more than just one, um, especially considering I've just started this new category. So I'm going to speed this next process up because I'd like to fill in this category with a couple different actions. Uh, I'm going to add three more. All right, here's where the fun begins. Let's navigate back to Manage Mode. We can select a portion of our photo collection here and play the action on the selected images. Okay, we've got six images selected. Let's navigate to Actions and find the category we just created. Oh, there it is. Cool, let's hit play right here. ACDC is going to make copies of these images with the recorded edits. For now, they'll just end up in the same folder. We can change how these images are saved. 
To do this, we can navigate to Options from the Actions dropdown. Keep in mind, changing these options isn't critical. The options allow you to overwrite, rename, or select a new folder for your images you played your action on. This menu also allows you to change the output format. We're gonna keep all of these the same. Now that our action is finished playing, let's quickly compare these. I really like the compare tool for this purpose. So we've selected the action copies and the original images for a total of 12. Notice the difference in names, as the new ones have a little zero that have been added to the end of their name. Click the Compare Images button down at the very bottom left. I'm going to change the view mode to Two Up and just drag and drop my images to compare them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set the original on the left and the new one on the right. I'd say that this action that we created was a pretty meaningful improvement to all but maybe two of these images. Cool, we can cancel out of that screen now. Let's navigate back to the Actions Browser and export this action category so we could submit our action to the hub page, for example, or even just send the package to a friend. I'll click Export down at the bottom. We're gonna want to include just the common category, so I'll check that one off. Save to desktop is fine for right now. I'll also name this package, I don't know, Calming 2019 with my name next to it. And hit okay. If I wanted to import this action pack, I would click import right next to the export button, just down in the bottom left. This is how I would be able to add my friends actions, uh, downloaded actions that I got off the internet, whatever. Generally speaking, we'd include categories with import, which is clicked right there after navigating to the file. And there you have it. You've just imported a new action. That is it for today, folks. Uh, just a heads up, the action and tutorial we've covered today applies to ACDC Ultimate 2019. Actions created with layers won't work on ACDC Professional 2019 since Professional doesn't have that functionality. Like, comment, or subscribe, and check the link in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.